Dudes and dudettes of YouTube land, it's Frank with What's the Point EDC. How's everybody doing today? I told you you're going to get all kinds of videos. It's Friday. I ain't playing around with you. So we're going to start this one right here off with a CRKT Pilar 4. That's how we're going to do this one right here. So I guess this video is just a little bit of a discussion on the knife. Uh, this isn't going to be a review. I haven't had a hard use demonstration with it yet, though I have done some testing with it. So far, so good. Everything is good to go on this so far. So let's talk about this knife. Like I said, it's the CRKT Pilar 4. It is the newest of the Pilars. Bra uh, <laughs> brass backspacer. G10 show side scale. Stainless frame lock. Ball bearing action. Deep carry pocket clip. Inset with inset screws. I guess if uh, if you were going to do a deep carry pocket clip, this is this is about as good as it gets. It's not like a true deep deep carry. The the pocket clip itself is a deep carry style, but it's not very deep. Let me get a uh, let me get them pants out. I just showed you in the last video. Shit, what I do with them? There they are. Okay, here we go. So this is what it's going to look like in pocket. No, I wouldn't do this pocket. We'd be doing this pocket right here because it's the right hand side. So this is what it's going to look like. Now, of course, I'm going to struggle and look ridiculous because I'm doing it on camera, you know. So that's what you get right there. So this is what you're going to look like while carrying. And I think that looks cool sticking up. It's ease of access to grab out. It's not like you got a fish in your pocket to get it in, to get it out. That's a sweet looking knife. Clip point blade made of D2 steel with a, uh, I don't know what finish this is on there. Honestly, I really don't. I'm working on learning those finishes, but there's something on this knife that I really like. Not just the D2 blade. I mean, not just the uh, uh, clip point blade. What is it? I know somebody is guessing it right now. Somebody is. You're right. The forward finger choil, guys. So it takes a small knife. Look. It takes a small knife and adds size to it. I love a forward finger choil so that I can get up on it and that I can get some cuts in. Here we go. Let's do some cuts while we're at it. This is what's left of that piece of paper from earlier. It's still got a great edge on it. Look at that. Good to freaking go. This thing's going to sharp. I mean, this thing's going to cut for days still. Uh, now, if you look at the blade closely, you'll notice that I don't know if there's any like, I don't know if you notice it on this side. You see what I'm saying? Down near the not down near the actual edge bevel. You see that line look right here? It goes all the way up. You see it? I don't know what that is. I don't know if the steel was burnt or whatnot, but that, I think I said that in another video. But it's been so long since I've done a video on this knife that I figured I would just bring it back and let you guys know how it's going. The backspacer is great on it. Looks good. Gives a little bit of traction with the jimping on it. Action is phenomenal. The action is absolutely phenomenal on this. I love, listen to it one time. Here, you ready? Listen. Oh, that wasn't a good flick, but listen, hold on. We're going to do it again. Oh, that's cool. I'll give it to you one more time. That is awesome. Tell me it ain't. That's freaking great. It's thumb flick it. You all know what time it is. Now, it, it's got a little bit of, um. as you can see, there's some of my thumbnail right there. So it's not like it's very crowned or anything, which is no problem for me. The centering, how's the centering look? Damn near spot on. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the grind of the knife real quick. It's not a review, it's just a simple discussion. Let's see what, what do we got here? Is this flat? That's flat. That's a flat grind. Excellent. I really like this freaking knife, guys. Now, this is the knife that I did my first ever YouTube video on. Sure is. Let me give you a quick little backstory on this knife. So uh, one of the employees at Edgeworks has this knife and i held it and i used it uh and i liked it i was like man it's a freaking cool knife well when the chance came i grabbed one and i was just playing with it so this is what i did i deployed the knife and i held it like this so I, i'm not gonna do it again but i dropped it and what happened it came down right there on my thumb cut me open so i'm kind of like starting to do a little drip not bad you know a little drip though and i said well you know what i just cut myself with it i'll buy it now you don't have to buy it they wouldn't have forced me to buy it, but that's just the type of guy I am. If I if a knife cuts me, I'm going to name it and I'm going to buy it. So with that being said, that's what it is. Look right here. Here's your cutouts, your relief cuts for your frame lock. Very nice. Uh, so I am i don't know if there's like uh don't know what this screw is for. I know it's for something, I'm assuming. There you go. That's what it's for. Right up in there. 
What is it? I don't even know yet, guys, but I'm learning these things. We're going to get there, guys. This is a cool freaking knife. Just look at the shape of this thing. Tell me that isn't awesome. And then when you flip it around, you see this side. That is, that's the show side for me, in my honest opinion. That's the show side. Damn badass clip point on it. Forward choil. Good frame lock. Nice G10. Mm, mm, mm. Ergonomics. I mean, this is a great knife, guys. This is my first CRKT knife. Great. Now, I don't know a lot about CRKT, honestly. All I know is that, I mean, see, Voxnez designed this knife. I don't even know if I said that yet, but this is a, uh, a Voxnez design knife. In fact, hold on, look. Voxnez design. Probably says D2 on there somewhere. Maybe, okay, so it doesn't say what blade steel is, but it is D2 steel. I am positive of that. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't do any looking on the specs or anything, but this isn't a review. This is just like a, a knife talk, essentially. You know what I mean? This is a what's the point EDC type of knife talk where we just sit here and kick the bullshit. I know everybody's relaxing. Today's Friday. Everybody's just getting off work. You're all getting out and about, having a good time. I hope everybody goes out and goes fishing. I hope everybody goes out and goes on some nice walks, enjoys themselves, takes the children out and about, and does all that good stuff. Because here, what's the point EDC? We're all about good knives and sharp vibes. You know how I said that backward, right? Sharp knives and good vibes. <laughs> Figured I'd do that one time. Why not? I actually did it on accident. But I'm going to play it off and act like I did it on purpose, though. You know! Anyway, guys. So if you got a doodad to be doodad, if you're going to be a skull gang in it, you can do that on this one right here. I'm not a big, uh, a really big lanyard guy. But sometimes it's cool to have a cool lanyard. So can I do a little, like, drop down like this? Okay, okay, I can open this bad boy like six different ways. Can we slow roll it? Whoa, I think I'm squeezing that frame lock, guys. Wow, I think I was squeezing the frame. Because <laughs> that thing was hard as a son of a gun. So is this a uh, a small hard use folder? What would you guys call it? Let's, look at the, let's check out the lockup. That is freaking great lockup. I never even noticed that. That's good lockup, guys. Let's spine whack it real quick. Let's shake the camera. That's good. That's freaking good, guys. That's promising. Seriously, CRKT did good with this one. There's no wonder why so many people like this knife. Now, I, I believe it or not, I was the first person to bring the CRKT Pilar 4 on the internet from what I from my, from what I found now. It doesn't mean much, though. That's just what I found. Oh, we're eight minutes in, guys. It's Friday. Let me get up off of here so you guys can go ahead and go about your day or watch some more of my videos or watch some other content because there's excellent content creators out there in the knife community. Just straight kicking ass and taking names, guys. That's what we do here. All right, guys. Look, I'm out of here. I brought y'all a cool vibing video with a cool knife, D2 steel, G10 scales, frame lock, steel side, clip point, get up, forward finger choil, get up, reverse flick, get up. Ball pairings and all, guys. Seriously, look. We're just enjoying ourselves here. We're vibing, guys. It's a vibe. What's the point EDC is a vibe? And if you ain't vibing, then I don't know what to say to you. You just sour shit. <laughs> all right, guys. Look, I'm out of here. But one thing, uh, I want to say one last thing before I go. And that's if you're an addict, never quit quitting. Stay strong and live long. Get the help you truly deserve so you can live your best life. And if you're struggling with bad thoughts, please reach out and talk to somebody. It gets better. Trust me. This isn't the way it ends. This is the way it begins. So stay strong and live long. I'll keep bringing you guys sharp knives and good vibes. Reverse flicks, front flicks, drop downs and all. You guys know what time it is. Expect some hard use demonstrations here today, tomorrow, and the next day. Because I'm going to keep kicking ass, guys. So much love. We're going to fade the CRKT Pilar 4 frame lock side. Let's get it.